We've seen a rise in acts of anti-Semitism recently in communities across central Florida. That's why today, Florida Senator Rick Scott came together with local Jewish community leaders to condemn the hatred. News 6's Eric Von Anken was there for the news conference at UCF. What did the senator have to say, Eric? Well, Justin, I can tell you, this is very close to the students here at UCF. This is very close to UCF leaders, and in particular, students here at the Chabad House, the Jewish Center here just off campus down the road for the, from the University of Central Florida. Because remember, it was just last year that a Chabad student, a UCF student, Jewish student, was attacked right out front here in front of the Chabad House on Alafaya Trail. He was in his car. He was assaulted by some self-professed uh, anti-Semites, some people who admit that they hate Jewish people, even though after they were later interrogated, they said they don't know anything about Jewish people. They had never met them. This, of course, comes right in the middle of many incidents, not just across Central Florida, but across the state and across the country. We've seen rappers, we've seen basketball players. Just this past weekend, a baseball player make publicly anti-Semitic comments. We've seen demonstrators, Nazi demonstrators with Nazi garb demonstrate on I-4, even at Disney World. Every single time Senator Scott, to his credit, has been vocal about condemning this anti-Semitism. That's why he was here today talking about how important that is. The goal is whenever anybody reads anything about Israel, get up to speed on it. Really understand what's going on. And if, it, if you have the opportunity to travel to Israel, um, I was able to be baptized in the Sea of Galilee when I was there. Um, it's, it's a great holy land that's shared. Number two, when you see anti-Semitism, call it out. It's hatred. It's hate. We even have a law, remember, that was passed here in Florida in May that targets people who target anyone of a particular faith. That's a first degree misdemeanor now. The thing is, despite all of this and despite all of this talk, nothing seems to change. People in the Jewish community here will tell you that anti-Semitism is at an all-time high, not just around Florida, but again across the United States. So I asked Senator Rick Scott the tough questions. Why isn't it changing and what do we need to do to actually make a change? Those answers when I see you again starting again at 4.30 and 6 p.m. tonight. For now, live at UCF, Eric Von Eichen getting results. News 6.